Hello everyone, myself Dr. Jyoti Mandala. Welcome you all to the video lecture series on the course Shell Programming. So we already learned about what actually Shell Programming is and also we understood how to install Ubuntu into the Windows operating system through a virtual box. I hope you all have followed that steps and you have made your system ready to work with the uh, um, commands okay so before going to learn about the commands let us learn about what is the file system of this uh, in the linux okay so first you need to understand here uh, there are different types of files are there in the linux uh, 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 like we have normal files directory files device files like that you, you need to understand one important point here uh, like in java everything is treated as object is it or not in java programming language everything is treated as object whereas in uh, linux everything is treated as a file okay your input output devices also your terminals also everything is considered as a file only like your uh, like in java everything is considered as object in linux everything is considered as a file okay so we have three types of files what are all the three types of files we'll, we'll learn we'll have the understanding about all those three types okay so first note on all of you three types what are the three types first one is normal file second type is directory file and the last one more type is uh, which is called as device files okay but here you need to understand one point before going to learn about normal directory and device files in linux no it is not required to give a file extension that means file extension is not at all important so based on the type of information you store in that file no, the linux will identify the type of the file so that is important point you all can note down uh, extension is file extension is not important so depending on the content the linux can identify the type understood all of you this is one important point you all need to make a note of that one now let us see one by one about different types of files let us see first about uh, the normal file okay keep your heading all of you normal file Now what, what, what is this normal file? Normal files are also called as ordinary files. These are also called as ordinary files. Okay. Like you can consider text files. Or else you can consider your binary files. Or you can consider your programming files like your Java files or Python files. All these are considered as your normal files. Text files, your programming files all these things are come. that means these files will contain some data okay some examples if you want you can consider uh, one dot txt okay or else you can consider first dot java so these are some examples of the ordinary files N sorry normal ordinary files are nothing but normal files okay or else your image files the binary files are nothing but your image files your video files audio files all are considered as your binary files okay so you can consider your college.jpg okay so these are all your normal files i hope you all are understanding coming to the next type of file what is the next type of file that is your directory files understand directory i am saying and again i am calling it as a file everything is considered as a file in linux okay that's why it is called as a directory file now what is this directory file is directory files is nothing but these represents the folders like in windows we have folders no so these represents folders
that means this folders may contain files okay or subdirectories they may not be containing the data directory direct, uh, directly see in normal files they contain some data but whereas coming to directory files no they may not be containing the data directly they will be having the files or subdirectories in that you can store the data got it now coming to the one next type that is device files keep you adding all of you device files Now what is this device files? In Linux no, every device is considered as a file. I am keep on repeating the same thing. In Linux, your every device like your RAM, your motherboard, your terminals, every device like I um, will write examples like motherboard, your RAM, okay are considered as files and each device has its own relatable files okay and that are available in a directory called slash dev in slash dev directory okay in this directory the information the files relating to these devices are available okay you need to understand here your terminal is also one file Terminal is nothing but your command prompt, which we are where we are going to write down the commands and all. Okay, if you want to know uh, like uh, which device file you are using, no, you need to use a command called tty. Tty command is used to find the device file. I'll I'll show you how you can do that. consider this one now I'll write tty so you are getting in dev folder all the files will be available now so you are you are getting the information did you did you get the information pts and zero suppose if I am opening one more terminal let us consider consider this is one more terminal okay now if I type tty here did you see second device is connected that means this is one terminal and this is one terminal two different terminals two different devices they are considered it is considered as two different files so this is first one and this is second one are you understanding I'll show you one simple example here suppose in this tt uh, in this zero in this one I'll write echo hello then where it will be displayed it will be displayed in this terminal only right but if you want to get the output displayed here in that case what you need to do you need to write echo okay hello where you want to print that one you need to print that one you need to write this one and you need to write this path this is the file this is the file no so you need to write that path here this is not copy paste and I think uh, copy paste did you see this is executed did you see hello is copied here did you see hello output is coming here I hope you all are understanding okay so this is called as output redirection the output you are not displaying in the same terminal you are redirecting to the another terminal this is called as output redirection uh, no need to worry in detail about the all these things just you need to understand two terminals are created two or two different things that's why it is represented as zero and this is represented as one so the complete information will be available in the dev directory only okay now uh, what you need to understand here is uh, for each and every directory you know 
whenever you are creating a, a directory let us consider this directory there is a file structure that means there are some permissions available for this uh, directory i'll write here right here for this directory file no for each and every directory some permissions are there. so what sort of permissions we have we have read permission write permission and execute permissions okay let me show you one thing and also uh, uh, one second i'll show you control l ls hyphen l about this ls command we'll learn in detail no need to worry about that you can see for each and every um, these are all the directories document which are displayed in the blue color no those are all the directories for directories and for files there are some permissions did you see so if you see this one let me copy this one okay paste so first three line we have nine characters right first three characters represent the permissions that are given for the user that means read write execute permissions okay next three are given to the uh, to groups and the next three are given for the others and you see this is by given we can change the uh, permissions also at the time of creating the directory that we'll learn later while learning the mkdir command no we will learn how to set the permissions and all okay that we can do no need to worry about that okay any doubts here and one more thing regarding uh, directories i want to tell here uh, see whenever you are creating no uh, files whenever you are creating normal file directory file device file how to know the difference you can see the difference here the first character d represents directory hyphen represents normal file it is a normal text file so hyphen represents normal file okay like that we have another uh, approaches like uh, at the rate symbol then it is called as a, a linked file okay i'll i'll write down all the different types of files available representations uh, available okay just make a note all of you hyphen represents hyphen represents it is a ordinary file okay and d represents it is a directory and l represents it is a link file uh, c represents it is a character special file okay s yes represents it is a socket file b represents it is a block special file okay so like this different characters are there that will be represented as a first character whenever you are using ls command uh, long list okay got it so this is uh, this is about this one along with this normal directory and device files we have one more category also which is called as a hidden file okay let us see that one hidden files are nothing but each directory having its own hidden files that will not be displayed whenever we are using ls command okay so hidden files so if you are using ls command no it is not going to display the hidden commands but if you want to see the hidden commands then you need to use ls hyphen a then all the hidden, uh, hidden commands will be displayed a stands for all okay let me show you that the difference in detail about ls command we are going to learn no need to worry about that okay ls if you are writing like this only the files like will be displayed like this suppose if i write ls hyphen a then the hidden files hidden files will be represented with a dot symbol like this okay and here dot here single dot represents the current directory and this represents the parents directory okay so these are all the um, dot uh, this one is the hidden, uh, hidden file that will also be displayed so this is also one type of file got it 
now let us see file system navigation how can we move from one file location to the another file location okay so keep here adding all of you navigation that means in the terminal how can we navigate from one location to the another location like means changing the directory and all how can we do that so the first command we can have is cd cd is nothing but change directory this is not the first command this is the command we are going to learn now which is nothing but change directory so whenever I am saying CD, this CD can be having multiple options. We will see all those options now. Okay. So make a note all of you. The first option is CD dot single dot. So whenever I am writing CD single dot, it is nothing but move to the directory. Um, like you will be in the same directory. You are not going to move anywhere. Same directory. That means there is no change. I will show you. I Let me open the terminal. I will show you this one. Suppose uh, I am in the root directory first. I will move to. Uh, let us consider scripts is there. Yeah. Let us consider. Let me move to scripts. But if I write cd dot and I click enter, if you see, then I am in the same position. Did you see? I am in the same uh, path. I am in the same directory. There is no change. That is what cd dot. It is useless. We can say in the other words, it is useless. Let us consider the other one. cd dot dot. cd space double dot. Now what is the meaning of this one? Move to parent directory. That means, I will show you, suppose uh, in, see, if let us, I will explain one more, let us consider if you want to move to a specific directory, then you can give a command like this, cd, uh, third option, let me explain that one for cd, directory name. Now in the present directory, if it is, this directory name is there, no, move to specify directory okay let me show you that first so first i want to move to scripts so i will be writing cd scripts so did you see i have moved to the scripts suppose if i write again cd a in scripts i have a no so if i write a then i'll be moving to a got it now here if i use the second option cd dot dot then it will be moving one step backward direction its parent i mean a what is its parent it is script so cd space dot dot if i write i'll move one step backward direction that is moving to the parent directory got it suppose uh, let me move again cd a if i write uh, dot dot two times let us consider like this cd dot dot slash dot then what happens i will show let me check that okay what happened one step scripts and one more step there is nothing is there it will be in the home directory by itself got it okay one more is fifth one cd tilde symbol so wherever you are you will be moved to home let us check that one let us first move to one location okay yeah. now if i write cd tilde symbol irrespective of the location wherever you have how many parents you have it will be moved to the home location okay i hope you all clear If you give simple CD, 
okay then what happens let us check that only cd if you give then what happens let me move to first scripts sorry capital s and then cd a if i give simple cd then also it is working same like cd tilde cd tilde and cd both mean the same they will be moving to the parent uh, like parent uh, root directory okay move to so this is how the you can navigate from one location to the another location and uh, one directory to the another directory one more you can if you want you can add cd hyphen which is used to move to previous working directory okay so this is about file system navigation what is file system navigation means from one directory to another directory if you are moving if you want to move then you can go with this uh, navigation uh, these options now i want to show you uh, last concept in today's lecture that is about file uh, linux file system hierarchy okay keep you adding all of you how the file system always remember it it, it 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 looks like a tree structure only i'll draw the diagram i'll show you the di the di diagram it is like tree structure and always it starts from root root is nothing but backslash like this okay and under that we have multiple sub directories i'll show you that means uh, let us consider i'll draw the diagram here let us consider this is the root okay now under this we will be having multiple sub directories like i will show you mm, you will be having bin uh, you have etc you have yes bin yes bin you have dev i'll be highlighting some directories only sub directories we have so many uh, in that we have home also one option okay these are all the sub directories so from here to here we are having a structure like this so that's why i call it as a tree structure okay now under home we will be having multiple users you can have multiple users like uh, jyoti sita Um, like that multiple users are there all these will be available in the home okay this is what the registry structure again in, in jyoti let us consider one user you will be having multiple folders like desktop Uh, one more you can consider documents okay or uh, downloads are you understanding so this is the tree structure this is the hierarchy how it will be you will be having this is called root okay this is called root don't get confused all of you this is your root always root is represented with slash
okay bin directory what it will include no this is called as a binary okay bin directory is nothing but binary all the executable related information will be available in this bin folder only okay so if you want to know where your file is available no you can go with uh, which command i'll show you one example uh, suppose which ls command let us consider did you see ls command is available in bin so i told you, you know already executable files will be available here only let us consider which cat command that is also available in bin so all the executable files all the executable command their related files are available in the bin command now what is this s bin s bin is nothing but let us consider it is system bin okay normal user uses commands of bin file but super users uses that are com the commands that are available in s bin okay another is another directory is etc what is the use of this etc it contains all the configuration files like user authentication files that are and the files that are used by the operating system all such files are available like you can see etc under etc i'll show you one thing mm, ls slash etc if you see so many files are there in this if you see group is there it contains all the group information let me show you that uh, group is it visible to you or else password did you see password now this will contain all the user information or host if you see one more file is their host host will be having the files uh, uh, information relating to ip address dns names and all got it uh, similarly groups are there group contains the information about all the group information and all will be available so etc will be containing the user authentication information what do you mean by that one it contains the configuration files all bin contains the executable files which are used by the user s bin also contains the executable file which are used by the uh, super user like disk partitioning network management whatever you want to do that information that related files are available in this home contains the users information like what are all the users are there okay like that etc contains all the configuration files so this is the uh, hierarchy of the file system hierarchy of the linux hope you all are clear with this today's class uh, this is about the different types of files and the file navigation system and the file hierarchy i hope you all are clear with this today's class let us all meet in the next lecture until then thank you all of you